So I'd just like to say a big shout out to Exotech. Uh, the link is in the description down below. They, those guys sent me over this um, power bank for review purposes. Um, they are not Sendor directly. They are a company that sells Zendor products here in the Philippines. You can check them out on Lazada, their Facebook page and their website directly in the description down below if you're interested in purchasing this product from them. Their customer support is fantastic. They are actually much better than Zendor themselves for customer support. So go check out Exotech. And um, yeah. Hey everyone. Um, today we are going to be doing a um, unboxing. And also I've been testing this out already. So um, I just kind of wanted to give a um, few weeks later review on this product from Zendor. It's the Zendor Super Tank. Which claims it has 100 watt power delivery. Um, I mainly bought it to charge my MacBook um, and I will go on to my experiences and the pros and cons <clears throat> throughout this video. So first of all, um, let's open up the box. So first of all, let's have a look at the box. So as you can see here, it has the Zendor logo on here. Also, um, I got the black version with the USB-C 100 watt PD power delivery. It has the dual USB-C ports, which is 60 watt and 100 watt. And the super efficient power management system, premium internal battery cells. On the side again, we have the lovely chrome writing. And on the back, we have the usual Zendor <coughs> instructions. So it's compatibility with the mobile phone, iPad Pro, iPad Pro, game consoles, tablets, cameras, USB-C, laptops. Features, power delivery, 100 watt input and output, digital LED display, sky high 27,000 milliampere capacity, dual USB-C, pass-through charging, full USB. Um, you can just pause the video here uh, if you want to read some of the specs. Also, we have our scratchable authenticity logo. Um, nothing on the bottom and also nothing on the top. Um, it has the typical opening door, Zendor packaging. Now I've already had this out of the box because I have been testing it out. Um, so let's just go ahead and remove this from the box. So we have the black version here. And then it comes with your normal USB-C stickers and your manual inside all the good stuff. So let's move that stuff away. Now, Let's have a look at the device itself. So let's go and have a little zoom in here. So here we have the 15 watt and uh, 16, uh, 18 watt um, USB ports with our power delivery of 100 watt in and out and our 60 watt out. <clears throat> now the in and out is where you would charge it. Now. From my experience, I have been using the MacBook Pro 2016 89 watt charger to charge this. Um, it's not, uh, not many people know it, but um, if you just use the normal USB-C cable, you could look at like three or four hours to charge this from flat. But with the MacBook Pro charger, which is 89 watts, this thing can charge up in about an hour and a half. Um, if you use Zendor's Super Port, Super Port 4, um, I believe you can charge this device within an hour. So that's using the Zendor Super Port 4, which is obviously their um, flagship charger. But anyway, back to this video. <clears throat> so now I've been using this power bank now for almost a week. And I want to lay it on the line. I want to put it how it is. Now... When I had this power bank at 100%, I charged my iPhone 11 Pro to 100%, and this was the number it left me on. So 72% left after charging my iPhone. Now, Zendor claimed that it can charge the iPhone XS seven times, um, but with the iPhone 11 Pro, um, I can safely say it charges around four times before this thing is dead. So that's from testing over a period of two weeks and I've run that test multiple times. So if you're, if you're an iPhone 11 Pro user and you're wanting to use this big heavy power bank, this thing will charge it only four times. Um, those tests were done with me um, not using the phone. Um, I haven't really 
use the phone whilst charging it for testing. So obviously with the phone not being used, that's how much we got. So I'm assuming a little bit less if you are actively using your device. Now, <clears throat> I own a 2016 MacBook Pro um, and I fully charged the power bank and I bought my MacBook down to 2%. Um, and I can safely say that this power bank um, actually charged my MacBook Pro to 90% um, with that being off. So I turned my MacBook off and then I left this plugged in at 100% and I only got 90% battery on my 2016 macbook pro with touch bar so this didn't give it a full charge it got it up to 90 percent so to be honest this power bank to carry around with you just to give your power your macbook pro you know double life you know it's not really that worth it because you're not going to be able to charge your iphone or your other products that was just my experience from actually having this power bank um the thing I do like about it is you can use um, you can use it active charging. So if I have all my devices in here and I have this plugged into a power brick, it will charge the bank and still power my devices, which I found was quite handy so I don't have to keep removing cables. <clears throat> now, I did get 30, uh, sorry, 50% charge in 30 minutes using the 60 watt port on my iPhone 11 Pro. So it supports fast charging. So within an hour, I can fully charge my iPhone 11 Pro with this device. So that's definitely tested and tried. Um, the other thing as well, it has, a, a, I don't know what you're gonna use it for, but if you push the button here twice, I believe, or is it you push and hold, you have reverse charge mode. Um, and reverse charge mode basically means that you can actually use your, um, MacBook to charge this device. So you're gonna be draining your MacBook power to charge this. It's, it's, a, it's a feature which I don't really understand what is there, because obviously you're gonna be wanting to charge your devices, not drain your devices to charge this. Um, anyway, so yeah. Now, the pass-through charging, I already mentioned about that, so that's definitely great, um, having the four ports. So that's basically my experience from, from this device. Um, it does say on their website that it does charge the MacBook fully, but that's not working. That's, not, that's totally not true from my experience. Um, so the maximum input is five volt, three amps, nine volt, three amps, 12 volt, three amps, 15 volt, three amps, 20 volt, three amps, 20 volt, five amps, and 100 watt max. Um, and that actually weighs around a pound, 481 grams, which it actually says on the site. Um, the dimensions is four inches, 4.7 inches by 2.8 inches by 1.6 inches. Um, and it also has a warranty for two years. And it comes in black, silver, and I believe they are boasting a new blue color on their website. So from my experience, this thing is very bulky. <laughs> um, and I guess the latest devices that are coming out on the market are gonna need a lot more power. So if you're charging your iPhone 5, 6, or 7, this thing is definitely going to give it a 7 or 8 charges for sure. Or if you're powering the MacBook Pro 12-inch, um, obviously you're going to be getting um, a, maybe a, maybe a, a, a four a half, one and a half charges on your smaller computer. But for my MacBook 2016, I got 90%, and on my iPhone 11 Pro, I managed to use the power bank four times to charge my phone four times, sorry, four times to charge my phone. So not the advertised seven, but it isn't written anywhere that it charges the iPhone Pro um, because they only state that they charge the iPhone XS. So anyway, I don't wanna keep going on about that, but yeah, that was my experience from it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it's answered some of the questions. If there's any questions that you really want answered, please just drop a comment below. I have tested this device out on pretty much everything. Um, so from my experience, you know, I would probably rate this power bank around about seven or an eight. Um, it's heavy and it's bulky, but for the devices that I'm using, um, it definitely probably would go down the route of, um, uh, a bigger capacity power bank or a super port. But yeah, 
it will definitely extend your battery life on your MacBook, um, but it will only give me 90%. So for me, it's like carrying around a big brick just for an extra 90%, um, which I'd rather not do. But um, obviously, if you need it, you need it, right? So um, yeah, that's my review on the Zendor Super Tank. Um, like I said, please do like my videos. Um, if you check the videos here, um, I also do a review of the world's smallest power bank um, and fastest charging power bank by Zendor. It's the latest one. It's the Super Mini. Um, and that little device can charge my iPhone Pro twice, two and a half times, and it's a fraction of the size of this power bank. So yeah, go and check that video out above. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. And also, if you're a Funko fan or you like Iron Man or anything in particular, please do subscribe to my channel and have a look at my other videos. Don't forget to kick that bell notification. And yeah, we've got some great Zendo products to be reviewing in the future. So again, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. Any questions, comment down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.